our science class. We are now in our week 5 to 6 with our learner pocket, still with our quarter 3, series and parallel circuit. Our most essential learning competencies determine the effects of changing the number of type of components in a circuit. Our core content, a simple DC circuit and the relationship between electricity and magnetism in electromagnets. In the previous lesson, you have learned that electrical circuit has four parts, a source, light, bulb, wires, and switch. You also learned that in an open circuit, electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path, of path from one end of the circuit to other end. While in a closed circuit, a path of electricity is complete allowing electricity to flow through it. This time, you will learn about the effects of changing the number of components in a circuit. Have you observed that in a series of Christmas lights, once a bulb is busted, the entire series of lights will not light up? Compare it with lights at home. Does it flow or does it follow the same situation, for instance, when a bulb in a room is busted, Will the bulbs in other parts of the house do not light up? Christmas lights and the light bulbs in your house have different kinds of circuits. The Christmas lights are series circuits and the bulbs in your home are parallel circuits. Look at the illustrations carefully. This is an example of series circuit. Bulbs that are connected one from the other in one chain is an example of series circuit. In a series circuit, current flows through a single path, so when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in this circuit will not light anymore. The loosened, the loosened or the busted bulb breaks or opens the pathway, so electricity cannot flow through. That is why your Christmas light, when one light is busted, the whole light will not light anymore. Look at these illustrations carefully. This is an example of parallel circuit. Look at this. Even if one light is removed, the other lights will still light up. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of a different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken, or burned out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own pathway. A break in one pathway does not make all the lights go out because electricity can still flow through the other pathways. Look at this illustration. This is an example of parallel circuit. Even if you remove one light, all the other remaining light bulbs still light up. What kind of circuit do you have at home? If you turn off one bulb, what would happen if you use a series circuit in your home? All other bulbs will be turned off because in a series circuit, there is only one path of electricity. Thus, the most appropriate circuit for homes is the parallel circuit. In such a circuit, each light and electrical device has its own path of electricity. 
that even if you turn off one of them, the others will still function, unlike the serious circuit in this picture. This activity that you are going to perform will clearly differentiate the series and parallel circuits. So you have to prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask to help. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of your family if needed. This this is your activity. The title is Build a Circuit. You have the materials here. Please read. And this is the sample picture for your project. Okay, these are the procedures in your activity. Please handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. So please read the set up A and set up B so that you can do your project. Okay. After doing your project, you will have to answer these questions. questions. Questions 1, 2, 3. What may happen if you add another bulb to both of, you, both of your setups? And why? What may happen if the filament of one of the bulbs in your first setup melts? Why? What happens if the filament of one of your your bulbs in your second setup melts and why so you must do the activity first so that you can answer this question and for the learning task number two give instances when a parallel circuit is used and when a serious circuit circuit is used and number two give the advantages and disadvantages in using parallel and serious circuit so, in number one, for instance, parallel circuit is used in your home and the series circuit may be used in like, like the Christmas lights that you are using during Christmas days. And for number two, the advantages of using parallel circuit is what? It is used at your homes and disadvantages. What is the disadvantages? And the series circuit, what are the disadvantages and advantages of this circuit? Look at those palm trees, damn! And for the learning test number three, draw a heart eyes and a wow emoji if it's heart eyes if it's example of series circuit and wow emoji if it's an example of parallel circuit. So what do you think of this? Number one, number two, number three. And for number four and number five. And for the learning task number four, draw an example of series and parallel circuit. Consider the rubric in your learner's packet. So, this is an example of the drawing of the series and parallel circuit. Okay, you may uh, use this as your inspiration in drawing your activity. And for the learning task number five, write a brief essay with at least five sentences on why it is important to carefully follow some safety precautions when using electricity? Consider the rubric in your learner's packet. Don't worry, I have a sample for you in the last part of this video. Sample answer only. You may use it as an inspiration to answer your learning task. So again, what is your circuit? Electric current flows through a single pathway, that is your circuit. And a break in one pathway does not make all lights go out, is the parallel circuit. And what are their similarities? This one, a route in which an electrical current can flow around. So they are both a route which an electrical current can flow around. Okay? Just answer this 
questions with each item carefully and choose the letter of your correct answer. Wow, I know you did great for our activities for today. So, just go on with our next activities or if you are not finished yet, do it carefully. And here are some of the possible answers. For learning task number three. This is just a sample answer. You may use it as an inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe for more video lessons. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified when there's new upload here in my channel. Thank you. God bless.